After over 20 years of sharing her knowledge on how to live a balanced life while pursuing a spiritual path, Supreme Master Ching Hai continues to dedicate her time and effort to uplift and enhance the life of all human beings. In recent years, she has written and published three animal books, The Dogs in My Life, The Birds in My Life, and The Noble Wilds, to introduce humankind to the magical world of animals. Motivated by her unconditional love and overflowing compassion for our planet and all of its inhabitants, Supreme Master Ching Hai continues to selflessly accept invitations to share her insights and wisdom on a kinder, nobler, and more loving way of life at gatherings with our association members, symposiums, radio interviews, or via video conferences and the like. On December 12, 2008, Supreme Master Ching Hai accepted the invitation to be the guest of honor for the Celestial Art Glorifying Earth with Heavenly Beauty book release event in Fountain Valley, California, USA. Celestial Art is a new book that features Supreme Master Ching Hai's exquisite art creations, along with excerpts from her profound spiritual teachings. Supreme Master Ching Hai's art creations have been highly acclaimed by art lovers and the media worldwide for their versatility, spontaneity, and heavenly finesse. Famous American and Alicese or Vietnamese artists, as well as international association members, dedicated performances for the celebration. Dignitaries in attendance included Fountain Valley Mayor Guy Carrazzo, Garden Grove Mayor Bill Dalton, California State Assemblyman Jose Solorino, singer and songwriter Clint M. Brown, Garden Grove City Council member Dina Nguyen, author Esther Hart, Nguyen Duc Quang, songwriter and publisher of Chi Lin Newspaper, Lee Kian Truk, publisher of Van Hua Journal and owner of Zen Vegetarian Restaurant, and holistic educator Lou Corona. We now invite you to enjoy the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai at the premiere of the English edition of Celestial Art on December 12, 2008 in Fountain Valley, California, USA. Hello. You're beautiful. I just want to say that. <laughs> Master, can you please tell us a little more about the inspiration behind your beautiful and unique stone lamps that you created? The stone lamp, the biggest one, uh, came just uh, spontaneously when we were building some pavillons. And uh, at that time we were building them and there's no ready-made lamps that are suitable, you know, for the uh, aesthetic point of view. You see, there's a ceiling like um, hexagon and it's all with wood, the ceiling. There's a wood ceiling and uh, I have many wood lamps. It's not uh, suitable because it's it will be too much, you know, too overwhelming. So I created stone lamps especially for those pavilions and later uh, people, they like it, so they, they buy them also, you know? So we have to make them for sale. And because they fit it very well, we all enjoy the combination very much. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. My question is... Um, yes. How does the love described in your poetry reflect a more universal love? Does it reflect it to you? Yeah, I feel, I feel so. All love in this world, even physical love, reflects the universal love. Yeah? Be it uh, parents and child love, be it between uh, man and woman love, it's all part of God's love. It's a part of divine love. So if it is true love, then it is very sacred. It transcends physical coarseness and merges with higher dimension. So you should bring your love to that level, okay? Even physical love. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Hello, Master. Hello. Um, 
Can you please share with us how artistic beauty helps uplift our world? Mm. Simple. See, when you see something beautiful, a flower, painting, photo, or hear some lovely music or poetic uh, verses, don't you feel better? Don't you feel more relaxed and loving? Hmm? Yes, I do. Yeah, so, you see, at that moment, your heart feels open, your spirit expands, and you love the surrounding, you love the people near you, and the relationship between you and others uh, suddenly uh, has m more meaning and deepens, and you're thinking more positive. That's how art uplifts our spirit. And if our spirit uplifts, then the world is uplifted. All right? Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. Master, you mentioned that some professional painters can mostly paint in only one style, and sometimes one can see that particular style exclusively in that person's exhibition at a gallery. Is this a desirable trait? For instance, if we were to place ourselves as the painter, is it best that we first seek the mastery of one style and then infuse other styles and incorporate them in our way of being? Sure, sure. Yeah, each uh, person should choose what he or she likes to develop and offer to the world or offer to himself or have fun with it, you know. He can also master first one uh, and then he incorporate it with another style or make another style, whatever, just have fun. Art is all about creativity and having fun with it and enjoying it. And then if other people enjoy it as well, then it's much better, okay? I was just commenting and reporting to my close residents and friends at that time concerning that remarks, uh, maybe answering their question or something, see? But otherwise, generally speaking, the artist should do what suits them and what makes them happy. And that's the most important. It's their style. They do what they want. Important is the artist like what he's doing. No matter one style, two style, three style, or any style, it's just for him. It's very intimate to the artist what he does. Thank you. Thank you, Master. The next question is from Duong Duk. Hi. Hi, Master. Master, you once said that music has the power to unite people even those with different backgrounds. Yet today, there are some songs that can cause more harm than, than good. For example, um, there are some music out there that are racist, sexist, and just plain negative. My question is, should these kinds of music be allowed, and what can we do to get rid of them? Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you for mentioning it. I did not mean all these kinds of music. You are right. They are not conducive to good mood and to positive spirit. But it's up to the uh, people who either listen to it or reject it, you see? And uh, up to the law of each country is to handle these negative influences. Individually, you can boycott it, not buying it, not listening to them, and tell your friends, your relatives that they are bad, don't listen. Our world is not all that positive yet, and not all about positive and constructive way of life yet. Just prayfully, hopefully, it will be. Yes, I need your prayer.